All right, so this exercise is called the Abandoned Dead Bug, and it's used to help whoever's doing it learn how to engage their core. So what I'm gonna have Corey do is actually scoot this way a little bit more, get a little bit of distance. You notice that the farther we are from the wall, the more resistance you're gonna have from that band. So now I'm gonna have Corey pick up his legs to a 90 degree angle and actually have those feet right up in the air. Like that, excellent, cool. And Corey, I'm gonna have you straighten your arms right out while you're gripping the band from both angles, great. And what I even recommend is grabbing it neutral. Perfect, okay, so now I'm gonna have Corey push his lower back down to the ground so he's creating pressure with his core. Notice how the core engaged there. All right, so now straighten those arms right out. Get them up tall up here. There we go, so that's a little bit harder, right? So he's working on his shoulders, but this is also creating engagement in his core. Now, Corey, what I'm gonna have you do is alternate one leg, straightening it out with an exhale, and then inhaling up. And then the other leg, and inhaling up. Now, if this feels too easy, what Corey could do is get a thicker band, or he can move farther away from the wall. So go ahead and just move a little bit farther from the wall. Let's see how, how it goes. Cool. Straighten the arms right up. Nice, all right. Push that lower back down. Now you can use your finger here, and you shouldn't be able to get your finger through. If there's open space there, then they're not engaging their core, they're using their back. Cool, straight, and see how the elbows bend? Keep, make sure they keep them straight, because that's gonna keep their core engaging. And that's how you do a banded dead bug.